an awfully warm February day, so I think I'm gonna change out of my suit. <laughs> We're in beautiful Point Loma, San Diego. Look at this beehive. Up there at the top of that ladder, about 50 years old, on and off apparently. And around the corner, another beehive. Right in the corner right in there. In the wood. And it keeps happening because it hasn't just been done right to begin with. So the bees smell this old hive. They just keep coming back. Even when they cut it out, it just didn't do the trick. So we're gonna fix that. Oh, they're a little mad. We're on to something. I see a little bit of comb. Oh, well, now I'm worried. Like the bays are connected. There's no true partition. Maybe we'll get lucky and spot that. Nope, I don't see you. <laughs> oh yeah. I think it just stops right there, but it may go further down. I can't see. Yeah, it looks like I got right up next to a stud. Oh, look how long they are. Yeah, long and skinny. And straight. None of that warbly gorbliness. <laughs> I hate to say it like that. <laughs> Since I'm not wearing a suit, I'm trying to be extra careful as I detach the honeycomb from the studs. And uh, I nudge the bees. Anybody that's done this before knows you just kind of nudge the bees out of the way before you stick your tool in here. Because if, say, he accidentally squishes a bee, that could set off an alarm pheromone and then he could get stung. Yeah. Almost always if I squish a bee, it's on. For wild hives. Yeah. Look how skinny. Yeah, this is a little... They're just trying to, like, squeeze in the most. Oh my gosh. Do you see any honey? Got quite the it looks like snake skin. <laughs> oh, weird. <laughs> it looks like shedded snake skin. Uh -huh. Lots of brood on this sheet of comb. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to find a big mama. Oh, this is going to come off in one piece, I think. How do you think this hive is just based off of the color of the comb? You know, it's funny, it's such a skinny hive. It's like like eight inches wide in the studs, between the studs. Uh-huh. Um, this could only be like six months up to a year. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, that's a nice piece. You got stung? I wonder why that one stung me. There's usually a reason. If like I'm too rough or something. Oh, maybe I'm talking too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that mm -hmm. could be why. They don't like mammal breath. Mm -hmm. Warm CO2. More honey on that piece of comb. Actually, let's give this a little taste test. It looks good. Mm. Ooh, wee. Good? Ooh. Oh, it's so good. What's it like? Oh, oh, it just hit the back of the taste buds. There's like a special okay? something going on. Oh yeah, he's tasting the honey. Oh, <laughs> I want to taste it. You know? <laughs> I'll try to get you some. All right, thank you. Look how pretty. That's some really beautiful capped honey. Oh yeah. Ooh, wee. Who wants some? I do. Oh, if the camera oh, could taste. It's so golden. I don't see a lot of bees here. So I'm worried the queen may have escaped kind of through these little gaps here into the, this bay over here. So might have to cut this open over here. Jeff just drilled a hole into the next bay to see if there are any bees in there. And it looks like he found some older comb. Yeah, you can see it on the camera here. Might as well open it up anyway. What do you see? Oh, I actually see, embarrassingly, no honeycomb, just, oh yeah, there is. Is it just dried up old honeycomb? Yeah, as you can see, old honeycomb right there. Oh, she's stuck, I'm gonna get her out. 
but uh, that will keep bees coming back to this spot. So we're gonna clean all that out too. Ooh, yeah, there's some. Gotta clean all that out. I have made und discovery. So behind here, I can actually see comb right behind this panel. Uh, there's a lot of bees back there too. So I'm guessing that's where the queen is. We'll have to do some invasive surgery. Okay, this is the little weird piece of comb. A couple sheets back there, very small piece, but then I saw bees running this way and drill the hole. Some bees are coming out of there. Drill the hole, drill the hole. And they are just, what the heck is going on? There's a little gap that goes all the way along here and it's connected and who knows where the queen is. So we still can't find the queen. So we're just going to gather the bees into the box. We also noticed that there were bees gathering at the entrance of the second hive. So my guess is that she's there, but it could just be these bees seeking refuge over here. Be careful. I wasn't sure that this was the second hive, but I think it is. At first I thought it was, then I was like, maybe not. But there's definitely comb there. Start peeling away the moisture barrier. Let's see what we're dealing with. Okay, here is the second hive. Now, when we came up, it wasn't very active. So we're thinking that a lot of these bees came from the other hive. We think they're from the same family. One hive begat the other one. This is the younger hive. Maybe even two queens in here. The queen might have swarmed from the old hive that's just around the corner. And she could be piled up in here somewhere. Could be two queens, so let's see. I just put a handful of bees in the box and I uh, saw a clump and I thought maybe they're balling the queen. And uh, let's see if I can get her free. So this might be the queen that flew over into this hive and now they're bowling her, trying to say, uh, you do not belong. Oh, where is she? Oh, there she is. You see they're trying to track her, track her down and tackle her and hold on. Saying, get out of here, Quinn. You were in the wrong half. Okay, got her. <laughs> I'm not the only one that's got her. Look. Uh... All right. What I'll do is, uh, I, I'm assuming this is the queen from the other hive and that she flew in here and they're not really super stoked on her. What I'll do is cage her and put her in the other box, the other hive's box, and let them collect. We're going to get these bees off of her in case they are bees from the other hive that are just dead set on trying to ball her. I got her by herself. Now I'm, I'm hoping that this queen belonged to the hive that was around the corner and that she does not belong with these bees. Hoping that there is another queen inside this hive that belongs to this hive. I just opened up this box to put the queen in there and look there's like no bees left in here. Okay, uh, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the queen separated. You can see they're starting to accumulate already, but we are gonna merge her with that colony. Hi boo! <laughs> So we're just gonna merge them because they all seem really happy together. They uh, they don't seem like they're fighting except for maybe these two. Are these guys here? What's going on there? What what is going on? I got a, a bee crawling up my shirt there. Just it's just chaos over here. But we're gonna go ahead and merge them because it seems like they're all getting along. Okay, ladies, come with me. Come on, lady babies. Come on, lady babies, into the box. All right. Got a nice sheet here. There's lots of brood there, so there must be a laying queen. Let's check the other side. Maybe she's over here. Now, we're assuming there's a second queen. I, I don't know for sure, but fingers crossed, because that'd be kind of cool. What? <laughs> what is happening? Could there be like three queens total? Come on. I don't know. 
<laughs> so strange. We have quite a few bees swarming on this tree. And I see one ball forming right over there. And there's also another ball forming over here. So maybe the queen's in there. That's a weird looking kind of fruit. Honey fruit. You must give it at least three months to develop. Now if I bump them, the queen might fly if she's here. So I'll just kind of lay them down and we'll pick around in there. Can be buried down in there. Oh, let's see. See. No, nope, not there. Maybe we're lucky. She could have flown off because they're quite quick. Perfectly executed. Whoa! Just don't fall. The ladder's listing to the port side. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. It's a much larger ball. So I, I think a queen is definitely here. I don't see her. I, I don't see her either. Oh, there she is, there she is. Oh yeah. Wait. Got her. Woo! Nice. Woohoo! The second Yay! queen. There could be a third. <laughs> <laughs> we should still look. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did she just land? Because she wasn't there a second ago. Yeah. She, she must have just, just landed. right on this corner right here. Yeah, we're going to review the tape <laughs> because I, I did not see any queen and then suddenly she was there. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Okay. Okay, so how cool was that? <laughs> when we didn't find the first queen and we saw that ball over there, we were thinking like, would a queen really do that? That's a really risky maneuver and I can't ever recall seeing that happen where the queen we're looking for went to a different hive so that was crazy i was betting on it uh, yeah but we were thinking that may have happened so when they were bawling on that queen it all started making sense uh thank goodness we found the second queen you just have to keep your eyes open on jobs like this because you know if you look over and you see lots of bees by a tree there's a swarm landing there mm -hmm. and what will happen with these is um, they are now together and they seem happier together than apart. Um, and both of these queens seem to have mellow offspring. So if our beekeeper wants to split one of his hives and use one of these queens, go for it. Um, they should be nice and friendly. So there's a, a good plan in store for these bees. And it was nice that they merged together. That just means they're probably the same family. The second hive probably just split off from the first hive, you know, months ago. Both of them were kind of small. So the fact that they're now merged into one is gonna make their, everything go up. Production's gonna go up, queen's gonna lay more eggs, everything's gonna be better, they're gonna thrive more, so. Hey bees. Off to that, their new home. That was fun. And we're glad that you could play the game of bee rescue. <laughs>